On December 9th, 2004, one of the greatest moments in basketball happened. And no, that's not an exaggeration. Houston, Texas, 8 p.m. A tense matchup between the eventual fifth seed Houston Rockets and the second seed San Antonio Spurs. The Battle of Texas. Ah! However, it was the fourth quarter of this game where Tracy McGrady pulled off the impossible. But before that, let's take a look at how this came to be. The first quarter was a slow one. Both teams shot 25% from the field, including Tracy McGrady, who shot two for nine or 22%. He's actually not taken a whole lot this year. McGrady, Kepi Matumbo up front along with now this footwork is crazy though. Somehow though, the Rockets still had a lead of six points. The second quarter was thankfully less filled with bricks. Manu Ginobili went on a little bit of a tear getting 10 points. Sideline on the injured list. Ginobili off a nice quarter. Ginobili for three. Yes. Seemingly quicker and faster to the ball. And Yao Ming also had 10. And I know as Yao Ming was able to knock it down. Barrett for Yao Ming. T Mac also shot a little bit better. He shot three for five, but missing both three point attempts. I think I should also point out that at halftime, T Mac is shooting one for six from three so far. Keep that in mind. Something to remember later on. Going into halftime, the Rockets still had a small lead on the Spurs. But the second half is when things start to get a little shaky for Houston. Tim Duncan randomly remembered that he's like one of the best players of all time and went off for 12 points in the third quarter. Beautiful move there. There's Duncan. Oh! Great play by Sura getting to the rim and allowing Yao Ming to get... Which helped the Spurs get to a four-point lead going into the fourth. T-Mac, still not in his groove, made only one shot and two free throws. Mark Grady with a... They get Nesterovich for the foul. So second team, the three previous years and as Tracy McGrady saw it. So going into the fourth, he had 16 points. He also missed another three, so that's one for seven. This is when it gets bad for Houston. Starting the fourth, T-Mac gets two back-to-back -back layups. Going to the, the trap at the start of the quarter. Here's McGrady, beautiful. And the tempo. Here's McGrady. Yes! Uh, that's a weird looking layup right there. But right after being subbed off, the Spurs go on an 11-0 run. Brady back on the Houston bench. Here's Bowen. The English tied at 60. Duncan. Duncan to San Antonio overall with 11 elected. San Antonio shooting a penalty last himself into a uh, Evan Brown, San Antonio, Saturday night. We've been practice now for weeks. Duncan off the double team, rebounded by Duncan. It counts and the foul at the line. Without one of their scorers, Jim Jackson, even with Jim Jackson in the lineup, this team struggles to score. And three minutes remaining in the fourth is Brown again. This run was crazy. I mean, look how ecstatic Tim Duncan is. Giving them an 11-point lead with just three minutes left in the game. Now, this is in 2004. The pace of play was way slower than it is now. An 11-point lead with three minutes left is death. You, your team is over with in 2004 if you're if you're down by 11 with three minutes. Fast forward two and a half more minutes, the lead is cut to only eight, thanks to some Yao Ming and Scott Paget buckets. Brady, and it's they have got after defensively. Yao Ming, six. The Rockets all time low. Scott Paget with authority. Shout out Scott Paget. There he is. This is where greatness starts. With just under 40 seconds left in the game, Tracy McGrady comes off a screen and pulls up from 26 feet away. He drains it. I'm out and Popovich obviously upset with Manu. Here's McGrady for three! Five point game. The Rockets full court press and foul Devin Brown, where he goes on to make both free throws. Back to seven. T-Mac dribbles the ball at the court, comes around a Yao Ming screen, Pump fakes, gets Tim Duncan to fly into the air, land on him. T-Mac then shoots the ball as Tim Duncan is landing on him and drains it. And one. T-Mac makes the free throw. Three point game. This is now back to back threes by the previously one for seven Tracy McGrady. Oh, and by the way, this happened in about 15 in game seconds. The Rockets press again and end up fouling Tim Duncan, a 67% free throw shooter, so he could miss here. Last year when he was at, at 59 and he's receiving the 
Friedman from the crowd. 16 seconds remaining. Duncan 11 of 13 at the line. Well, I forgot to mention, it's Tim Duncan, so he made both, but you know, there was a chance. Rockets timeout. It's a five-point game with 16 seconds left. Still very difficult, should not win. The Rockets inbound the ball in terrifying fashion, just a horrible pass, but T-Mac caught it. He drives to the right, Bruce Bowen is guarding him, who, by the way, the one of the best defenders in the league at the time. He pulls up for yet another three, and you know what, let's have a little quiz on this one. What does he do here? Come on, he makes it. Come on. McGrady over Bowen for three. Oh, yes. 78 to 80. Two point game. After a shaky San Antonio timeout, the Spurs inbound the ball to Danny Brown. I'm guessing they were confident in his free throw shooting since he had made the two before, but I guess they should have not been confident in his dribbling skills because he spins towards the baseline and just Brown. loses it. Devin Brown lost it. Guess who picks it up? That dog did. Time's running out. No timeout. T-Mac brings the ball up the court and pulls up over four Spurs players. Pause the clip. Count them. One, two, three, four. Four Spurs players. They're not guarding anyone else. They're just guarding T-Mac. What does he say? I'm shooting this mug. I'm shooting it. And guess where it's going? in the net but wait there's still time on the clock tony parker who's been in the shadows this whole game comes down the court and air balls rockets win the houston arena is in disbelief of what just happened with an incredible performance down the stretch including a four point i am in disbelief of what just happened and I just rewatched this to write the script for this video. In 35 seconds, Tracy McGrady scored 13 points. I figured you guys want to see these 13 points without me yapping in the background, so here it is without me talking. Popovich obviously upset with Manu. Here's McGrady for three. At the line. And the score is now leading by seven. Rockets looking for a quick shot. Bowen. McGrady foul is picked up. Oh. A potential four point play. Four point play. Can't find anybody. They have no time. Finally gets it in to McGrady. McGrady over Bowen for three. Yes. The inbounds. Try to make things difficult for Brent Barry. Gets it in. Lost it. Here comes McGrady. No timeouts remaining. McGrady for the win. Yes. Oh, and if you were wondering, T-Mac ended up with 33. Insane. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Whether you knew about this game or not, I hope this did justice for how just insane this game was. Thanks for watching. Subscribe right now. Do it now.